Hey, welcome to uh, the Nortel Guy. This video is going to show you how to program the buttons on your phone to do different features. This is not the same as programming speed dial or auto, auto dial. When I say feature, I'm referring to things like do not disturb or uh, conference. Um, really, any of the things that you see listed in those little uh, cheat sheets that you have on your phone. Um, here's one right here. You know, it's got a list of all the different features. Those features can be programmed into buttons, and that's what we're going to do here. Okay, this applies to the Norstar uh, phone systems, not the not the uh, the Nortel PBXs. If you have any question about what type of phone system you have, you can go to my website, um, nortelguy.com. There's a link on the left that says Identify Your Nortel. If you click on that, it has pictures of the different systems and what they are. Okay, so to program, say for instance, this button right here, which is labeled Contrast, um, the reason I have to program is because this phone came from another system, so none of these labels really match up with, with what the buttons are already pre-programmed for. So contrast. Well, contrast, if I look at my little cheat sheet, is uh, is feature star 7. So in order to put that into a button, I'm going to do feature star 3. Now, I'm using the word feature. In the newer phones, they replaced this little gray button. used to say feature. They replaced it with a little Nortel icon. Okay, so when I say feature, I'm referring to this button right here. On the older... Uh, 7000 series phones like the 7208, 7310, there was actually a gray button that says feature. Okay, so I'm going to program this button right here. Feature star 3. I'm going to press the button that I want to program and now it's asking for the feature code. And the feature code for contrast is feature star 7. Okay, now that button is programmed as a contrast button. So when I press it, it gives me the choice to go up or down with the, uh, with the, uh, the contrast level. Okay, let's do another one. Um, show time, which I can't remember what show time is right off the top of my head. Show time, I think that's feature 7. I think it's 7-7. Seven, seven. Let me try that. Oh, no. Guess not. Okay. Um, that's for when you're in the middle of a phone call. Let's do a different one. Let's do a uh, voice call, which is feature 6-6. Six, six. Okay. So I'm going to go feature star 3. Press voice call. The voice call feature code is feature 66, so then I'm going to go feature 66, and now um, this is programmed as a voice call button. So if I hit voice call, it's ready to make a voice call. Um, now, what you can't program using this is you can't program line. So for instance, I can't use feature star 3 to assign line 1 or line 2 or line 3. That stuff is done through system programming. Also, again, I want to reiterate, if you're trying to program auto dial, um, which is another word for Nortel's word for speed dial, or if you're trying to uh, program uh, quick dials for different uh, other users in your in your uh, office, those are uh, Feature Star One and Feature Star Two, respectively. Okay, so that's not the same as a as Feature Star Three. Let's do one more. Here's a conference button. Um, the the feature for conference um, actually happens to be Feature Three, so don't get them confused here. So I'm going to go feature star 3 to program the button. I'm going to press the conference button. And then I'm going to press uh, feature 3. Okay. And so now that button is programmed as a conference button. Yep. Okay, great. And that's it. So if you want to take any of the commonly used features that you see on the little cheat sheet, or if you want to, this is kind of limited. Um, if you want more, go to my website, nortelguy.com. If you click on um, Norstar, and then there's an article in there that says um, common Norstar feature codes, and there'll be a list of about the, I want to say there's like 50 different codes in there that you can pre-program to any of these buttons. Okay, so I hope that helps somebody out. Thanks for watching.